I do not want to talk about this, and I do not want to think about this, and I do not want to deal. Mm -hmm. Sex is better with a man with a foreskin, period, the end. Sure I've had both. Parents. parents come and speak to me, and they say that they were not given this information before they made their decision. And a lot of the pleasure that you were meant to have, that was your birthright to have. What they remove grows to become 10 to 15 square inches of erogenous tissue. It was taken from you. The foreskin is the most sensitive part. I don't know how you can call this anything other than an assault on male sexuality. And then they took a metal cup and they inserted it between his penis and his foreskin so that the, basically the foreskin got all engorged and stretched and stretched and stretched and he was screaming he was turning blue and I'm behind glass and then I start to feel the nausea is female circumcision in any way analogous to male circumcision in this people bring this up a lot and people bring it up well it's not the same thing um, and I don't like those kind of fractional arguments at all I mean I think everyone's birthright is genital integrity mm -hmm. it's going to take women who love their sons yeah. to stop this and when women get really angry then it'll stop. Men, men are in denial about this, yes? Absolutely. And the reason Absolutely. you have to be in denial but about it. How can you face the fact that so much of your sensitivity that you were mm -hmm. supposed to have is exactly. gone but and I, taken from you forever? Because there's nothing you can do about it. They're embarrassed. Their parents did this to them. So what are you supposed to say? Mommy and Daddy were bad and cruel to me? And then you'll hear this. But I'm okay. I enjoy sex. People who are determining medical curricula in this country, most of the people who are determining public yeah. health policy, are circumcised men. And they don't want to face that anger. Men actually get offended. If I had a scalpel in my hand right this minute, and I said that I was coming to cut your genitals, and I will include the women, because we could be in a country where that's done, you would run out of here, and you would never come back. The trust in our relationship will have been broken forever. They believe that it's as benign as a pedicure, and they believe that there are benefits that are like an inoculation. Wake up! I can't tell you how many women have said to me, you know, that they were told to get a grip and to turn it over to the father, that the boy's going to look like him. What Americans don't realize is around the world that 85% of the men in the world are intact. They are not circumcised. There's no doubt in my mind that if somebody held you down and cut away part of your body while you were screaming and helpless, uh, you'd be calling the police. Absolutely. And the society would demand that that person be put in jail. And we would mm -hmm. see, let me just finish, we would see it as a grotesque sexual assault. And not only that, not only that, but everyone who stood around and watched while you were screaming and didn't do anything to stop it, they would all be charged with a crime too. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's funny looking. Breast cancer can be eradicated. No woman ever has to get breast cancer. We just remove breast tissue from infant girls. and right. It's ridiculous. It's the idea that you would cut off a it's healthy insane. part of the body. The medical textbooks do not have accurate information. Most of the childbirth books do not have accurate information. I can tell you how many mothers tell me. They were given no information prenatally. They have the baby in the hospital. The father goes home. They're asked to sign some papers. They have no idea what to do. If anything is to go awry with your foreskin, even if it's cosmetic, the only thing anybody knows how to do is to cut it off. Mm -hmm. There's no other body part, male or female, which is treated with that kind Absolutely. of contempt. The doctors who do this were not given empathy when they were circumcised, and nor were they given empathy when they were taught to do it in medical school. The only thing they have ever been taught to do is to, is to cut it off, amputate. There isn't anything like foreskin education. This is so obvious that this is not something you should be doing, is cutting off a healthy part that serves a purpose. And as long as we continue to accept it, it's going to continue to be done.